trade is one of our greatest sources of uh, wealth and prosperity. Uh, it's one of our greatest ways to shape a better future for ourselves and for our families. Um, the numbers are clear over the past half century by lowering barriers to trade and investment we have added one trillion dollars more annually uh, to the economy of the United States alone. If we went on now and eliminated all the remaining barriers to trade and investment we would add another 500 billion dollars annually to the U.S. economy. Uh, that's a lot of money to uh, pay the home mortgage and uh, pay the food bill and send the kids to college. And that's just in the United States. Worldwide lowering barriers to trade has lifted all boats, as we say in trade. It's been of enormous benefit uh, to countries throughout the world. Uh, globalization is complicated and it's controversial. And yes, jobs are lost from trade but far many more are gained through trade than are ever lost. It's simply that the people who lose the jobs really know it, and the people who gain the jobs don't. What we need to do is continue lowering barriers to trade so that we can multiply the opportunities that we have through an ever-increasing international division of labor. That will make the economic pie larger for the whole world. And I must add, we need to do it in a sustainable way because that's the only way to, to, that we can sustain it over time. So trade and sustainability must be made compatible as we go forward. This is something we've only begun to realize in the past generation, but it's fundamental and it's essential. Blaming trade uh, is not only misplaced uh, and unfair, it's short-sighted. Uh, because trade's not part of the problem. Trade's an important part of the answer. Now, the rules of trade uh, have proven to be more than adequate over the past half century, but um, rules can always be improved. Uh, we need a, a better way of improving the rules we have and adding new rules uh, because the world economy is much more complicated than it used to be. One example we have very good rules relating to restrictions on imports. Uh, we have some rules relating to restrictions on exports, but they're not quite as good. Most of the trade disputes in the past half century have arisen over restrictions on imports. We've been able to deal with those. The new phenomenon is uh, an ever-increasing number of restrictions on exports. And this is likely to become even more common in a world where natural resources are limited and where there is an increasing competition for natural resources. We need to have better rules for trade relating to restrictions on exports. I went to um, the WTO for two reasons. Uh, the first reason was because I believe in the potential of trade to expand human enjoyment of freedom. I believe there's a connection between trade and freedom and I believe that by lowering barriers to trade we can create more opportunities uh, for more people to share in the blessings of freedom. The second reason was uh, because I believe that by proving there could be the international rule of law in trade, we could demonstrate that there could also be an international rule of law in other areas of shared global concern. These areas are numerous. Environment is one. Investment is another. Finance is still another. We are in uh, a world and in a century in which trillions of dollars can uh, pass across artificial national borders uh, simply in the blink of an eye through the push of a button. And we know that the global economy won't work if we restrict that in the wrong kinds of ways. But because 
finance is by its very nature increasingly global, we need to have global rules uh, to deal with financial concerns. I'm encouraged that uh, the G20 and others are beginning to work on this. I think we need to do more to put a global architecture in place uh, to uh, deal with global financial concerns. I don't think that at this point we need a WTO for international finance, but we may be at the point where we need a GATT for international finance, a smaller group, a coalition of the willing who can agree on certain prohibitions, on certain uh, uh, rules that uh, would apply to the global financial system 